Hello everyone, Backyard Bricks here. Just giving you another little update of from last week to this week. Today we've been busy doing a lot of things. We, well this showed up. And this is a printer. Last printer I had wasn't working, so we had to buy this new printer here. Should be able to do a shipping label or two with it. Did some test prints with it. Apparently it does cobbler and Lego sent me that for free for joining the Insider Club. Figured I'd try that out too. Had to do some cleaning down under here to make some other stuff that showed up. Well, we've had this already, but some other goods that showed up in the mail. Let's see, what did we get? We got some bubble mailers. Bunch of different size Ziploc bags. That way we can do minifigure sizes, brick sizes, even down to little teeny studs and weapons for minifigures. Oh, just a bunch of other ordinance, shipping supplies, some tape. Not really much. I guess we're still waiting on some more bubble mailers. So yeah, that kind of brings me over to the store. Um, oops, if we just do this is where we're still sitting at, same place. We did get some, we're making progress on hooking stuff up and actually like the logistics of things, making that type of progress. Haven't made really any progress with updating any to the collection. So the top up there remains the same. The bottom's been, the drawers on the bottom been in and out trying to sort through that big, um, haul of used Lego. And that's kind of been... Oh, I should probably cut some of this garbage back. It's all over the garbage. Just kidding. We'll use it for some good someday. Hopefully, that's the goal. We've been... All this stuff's adding right up pretty good. We were around $500 investment last time. Now we're just a little over $600 invested into all these different supplies here. That's where the store still sits at. And yeah, some of the goals are still the same is just to be able to buy and sell Lego that we don't want to try and get some Lego that we do want, for example. Oh, it's so nice outside. Uh, for example, something like this. Get some of these Harry Potter sets over here. Because we still, ooh, we still want to get the um, a nice display set up. So ultimately getting more of Harry Potter Lego would be great. Let's spin it over here. Oh, while I was cleaning out underneath there, making room for some shipping supplies, that's where the old printer was, some other old gaming stuff, and come across this third computer here. I had no idea if it would even work, but it's struggling over here. But hey, if we got Google, we've got something. So we might add that to the shop just to kind of help out with organizing stuff. Lots of little baggies, as you can see. That kind of wants, that will probably bring me to the other Lego area that we have to work with is just like a sorting area. It's kind of been a whole family project trying to get all these Legos sorted out. But out here, I've kind of taken over the whole dining area. We don't need to eat food anyways, so. Now it is my Lego area, ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, so basically we've just, this whole, this thing was full. So we've been making progress. There is a bottom to it now. It's more or less just sorting from here to here into big bins as we go. We only got so many containers and of course there's so many parts, but at the end of any session of sorting, I just dump them into these bags here. So, some of those parts over there already have a bag in a home. Some of the parts over there do not have a bag at home. So eventually, basically the goal is, is every one of these bags is going to be full of just part type. 
So we're not sorting by color right now, just simply part types. So these are all two by twos. But in the end of doing all this, sorting through the used Lego will achieve this. Well, basically, depending on how big these bags get full, which we haven't even, and I still got a whole nother tote to go through. So basically this whole bag's already full. So yeah, we might have a lot of one type of part. Maybe that'll get sorted into color. But for now, I mean, we get two by threes, two by twos, one by fours. Everything's every bag, every part. We're just sorting by 100% all by part type. So it's going to take a long time, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. It didn't for a long time. It didn't seem worth doing it because our Lego collection was only so big. So, but now it's just grown so much, and I've got a lot of cool sets hidden inside of here that I just I'll never be able to build or find all the pieces to. So, I just need to sort it all out, and then. Once I feel like I've got that achieved, I'll be able to get a printout of some cool Harry Potter. See, there's a couple of Harry Potter sets in here that I know of. So, and I've found a lot of those pieces and dug them out separately. But in order to build the whole set, I would need to organize all this, get a printout of all the parts needed for that set. And then it'll be much easier just to pull the parts out of some organized bins or drawers or whatnot. So that's the goal. This is one tote. I'm trying to get through this whole tote today. That would be amazing. Over here we have a tiny bit of Lego stop motion. My kids have been playing with this. That's just, this has just been great. Built this little thing kind of rugged. We get a couple lights set up in here. Make it nice and bright and kind of cool. But everything's pretty solid. It's got some people. They've been kind of hanging out in battle. We'll probably post those later <clears throat> on YouTube as well. Oh, it's just fantastic out for just show you we basically live in the woods around here this is the backyard bricks covered in trees and snow don't forget the snow we love snow but it's just gorgeous out blue skies just trees all around so i only got so much time doing lego fun today and then it's outside with the fam back to the lego store We have made all this oh yeah so here's the other tote so oh it'll probably take honestly that other tote you saw around the table i said i wanted to get that all done today but uh, that's probably a lie that one tote will probably take a week to go through and then another couple weeks and another couple weeks so we've got a few months worth of sorting to do here but we're gonna get a little bit sorted every week and Eventually, we'll still get this big display case here and hopefully some drawer, all kinds of drawers and bins to kind of sort through all those Legos so we can find all the cool Lego sets that we need. And we are still sitting at 585 parts. So, yeah, like I said, I haven't gone up from last week. So, But neither of the stores opened yet. So I think once... So I'm really only a little bit more shipping supplies I'm waiting on is just some more different size bubble mailers. I think after that, we are ready to open. We're not gonna try <clears throat> I mean, as far as the part count goes, that's just gonna have to grow with time. There's no, not waiting really too much more on that. I mean, it'll be more exciting to add parts to the store once it's open and stuff starts selling. So then that would be more of a demand and more exciting to actually, A, go buy more sets like this on sale and try and park them out. Or once I get through all that mess over there and start finding some valuable used Legos and whatnot. I mean, I got a ton of minifigures. Might start selling off some of these once I can identify them. But for right now, I kind of want to hold on to a lot of the Lego that I can for until i mean i really want to get the uh personal collection like squared away because th all these bins is just a used haul that i got not too long ago but i've got like three other bins already and i've got a whole hogwarts castle apartment most of a hogwarts castle all in a trash bag i've got closets with 25 other complete sets in it so i just I got so many legos and so many in so many different areas so much going on so i i feel like i need to get my personal collection under control and then that'll help me build more stuff have more fun with it slash maybe 
pull out a couple things here and there to add to the store. So as far as used LEGO goes, there won't be much used LEGO getting added to the store. We're probably going to try and more stick with just parting out brand new sets. It's way more efficient. It's way better. It's way better product. It's cleaner. And, and then used LEGO would be more for playing, building mocks and stuff like that. So, but building mocks will be fun. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great time. But that's basically it for the update today. New printer working. We've got more shipping supplies ready to go. Got our area cleaned up a little bit. We've got two couple different computers all linked up to computer uh, printers now, plus my phone in case I need to do some on the go. And then we get the stirred printer here. The stirred computer, I mean, we'll do with something. I'm not sure what we'll do with that yet, but I was almost thinking about just throwing it all away. But I'm like, wait a minute, I gotta plug it in and turn it on. But it's all connected to the internet and we got Google. Google got a ton of cool parts here once I find once I get it more organized I plan on doing some more videos I'll show you guys once all these totes have gone through and show you what it added up to and sorting by part type like I've been doing out there will allow me to actually weigh each category and we'll get a part count so I'll try and give you guys a uh, part count on the Le use lego hall and then i will give you just a weight on all the other like the mega so i had to pull out a lot of mega blocks random toys and random things like that so maybe even get you a, a total weight on that and we'll see how valuable and how worth the purchase was and then we'll see from there if we can turn our $600 invest starting up investment into at least breaking even that'll be the goal so somehow or another I gotta get sold through all these Legos and some other Lego sets and pull out enough out of all that to be able to come up with the starter fee after that and then once we break even then we can see if it's worth um buying more of these bins I you know, whether it's worth it or not money wise whether you get your money back out of them I just want them so <laughs> I want a whole bunch of these for personal collection and for the Lego store so basically hoping to break even though first and then make slower purchases after that to help because that would just be the more better smarter safer way to do it because until I can break even with the startup investment then it'll be awfully hard to convince the family to let me purchase more um, product other than Lego I mean See the thing is, is you, you got to buy Lego when you you got to buy it when you see it. So that's the that's the one product. That's the, that's the cool thing about this store is you gotta. It's gonna be an excuse for me to buy more Lego. So it's kind of like a win win. Whether I make money on it or not, that's not even that doesn't even matter. It's just about collecting the Lego, anyways. So this is gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Can't wait to get this store open. All right, backyard bricks out.